8-bit Doe wireless controller, the Pro 2 version for Xbox. This is the newest model for Xbox Series S and X with the share button. Let's unbox it and check it out. Damn, that looks clean. I like it a lot. Oh, this feels amazing. Ooh, nice wee clicky Xbox button. I like it a lot. As of the share button, feels really, really tight. We've got a whole bunch of other buttons here for other stuff. And, you know, your boy loves it when we've got back buttons. Yes, so I do not completely suck in FPS games. Very, very nice. So what kind of features does this have? Well, it does come with an app, so you can customize and map all the buttons on the controller. You've got your nice sticks here, you've got your share button. You've got your headphone jack, and this looks like it might even be a little mute toggle on and off switch, which is very, very cool. You have got lovely feeling triggers here, which you can also map the tension for, I'm pretty sure. And it also vibrates. Only downside, it is wired. All the third party controllers these days seem to be wired for Xbox. We've just taken this out the box, so we've not got the app downloaded and loaded up, but you can do so much with the app, and we'll do a separate video showing you how to completely customize this controller with the app on your phone. But just to give you a flavor of what you can do with the app with this controller, is as we said, you can customize all the buttons, which look fab on this controller. You can also adjust the stick and the trigger tension, which is cool, so you can adjust the sensitivity on them to your liking. You've got vibration control and also you can create controller profiles. So you have a profile for each game, which is pretty freaking awesome. If you do play a lot of retro games, this might be one for you. It's got a really nice feeling D-pad here and you've got the two sticks in perfect alignment, just like on the PlayStation controller. If you're more familiar with that or you prefer that compared to the Xbox controller, which has one stick off center. The cable is three meters long, so that should be enough for most people to connect the controller to their Xbox. And it works with Xbox Series S, Series X, Xbox One, and Windows 10 PC. So you can do a fair bit with this pretty sweet looking controller. Let's plug this into the Series S and see how it feels. To check out the D-pad on the controller, we have jumped into some classic Bomberman. What better game? than Bomberman because you'll use the D-pad all the freaking time in this. And I'm not gonna lie, the, whoa. The controller feels really nice. The buttons feel a lot more clicky than the standard. Oh, no, 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 oh, shiz! We're trapped. We've respawned, we're back. We're back, baby. Come on. Oh, I can't kick it with this guy, what? Oh, he did. No. Oh. It feels good, it feels nice, it feels very sharp. The buttons feel lovely, they feel a lot more clicky than the buttons on the standard Xbox controller. Don't know if that's a good thing or not, but they, they definitely feel more clicky. They feel a lot more spongy on the Xbox controller than this. But the D-pad feels good feels nice and sharp and you can just switch obviously as well to the sticks which feel fantastic. Now let's jump into a modern FPS game and see how this feels. So now we're jumping into Warzone to see how this controller handles and we're being shot at by Godzilla it looks like. What the hell? Oh my goodness this is crazy. So yeah it feels really nice, the sticks feel really smooth, I like it. I can't wait to customise this with the app which I'll definitely be doing on the channel. So leave me a comment down below if you have any questions and we'll try and cover them off in that next video. All the buttons are really smooth and really, really clicky. I keep saying this, but it does feel different from the standard Xbox controller. And also, I've noticed the Xbox home button does not light up in case that's something you're big on. It does not light up. There's a little light above it, but the actual button does not light up. Oh no, shh, I thought he was dead. Take that, fool. Shh, 
Yes! Where was he? What? Oh, we wiped. Okay, sick there though. That was a lot of fun. Damn. This controller gets a big thumbs up from me. If you want something that's a little bit cheaper than this, click the card on screen right now for another great controller option.